The peak limiter of Bitwig Studio is a small and useful low latency look ahead limiter. The device consists of a history window that shows you the incoming audio signal in bright grey, the processed and limited signal in dark grey, and the overall signal reduction in blue. You can also read the applied gain reduction in the top right corner as a number. Below that, you have the current gain reduction even as a an output meter. So lots of ways to tell how much you limit a signal. The input meter on the left shows you the strength of the input signal. To apply the limiter to your material, you have to options. Either you increase the input gain with the big knob on the bottom left so the material is pushed against the ceiling or you bring the ceiling down with the big knob on the right bottom. In both cases, you need to cross the threshold or ceiling line for the limiter to act. You can see what's happening with the displays described earlier, above. The release knob in the bottom middle changes how fast the limiter recovers from the limit process. If you dial it to the left side, the limiter reacts quick and releases the gain reduction back to zero early. Dialed to the right, the release takes more time, reduces way more material on the way back to zero and covers more material this way. As a rule of thumb, you can say, faster release is good for percussive material with short, quick peaks, and longer release is more suited for leads, pads, bass, or longer kind of sounds. The peak limiter is a good friend when you need to make sure you never exceed zero dB on one of your tracks. Or if you want to bring unpredictable peaking audio material under control, I probably have limiters on almost any places in Bitwig. It's also nice to increase volume on things without going into the red or to utilize the history display when you want to see if or when something is peaking. The peak limiter may not be the best sounding limiter and it doesn't have a lot of options, but it is easy to use and has almost zero latency.